Emo is celebrating 50 years at 2025 edition of Emo Hanover. I believe Germany had a big role in the total metal working machine tool industry over years. A company which is there in Germany for a very long time, Olapter also played a big role in the entire journey of German engineering. With allied machine and engineering, I think you are masters of all making. This Emo, what we can look at from Wolhapter and Allied? So actually Wolhapter uh, was started in 1929 uh, by my grand uncle. So uh, I'm representing the third generation of Wolhapter and we have always been participating and exhibiting at, at Emo, uh, always from the very beginning. Um, and, and my first Emo was in 1985. Uh, so, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Emo has always uh, played a, a big role for for our um, machine tool and, and tooling in the cutting tool industry. The main uh, players in in Emo uh, from the very beginning. Uh, this year, we we gonna show um, our our complete tooling range uh, from a drilling system uh, from the U.S. made in the U.S. by by Allied Machine and Engineering Corporation, as well as the. Uh, rough and finish boring tools from, from Wallhaupter and their partners. So we have a partner in Italy called Scami, uh, producer of, of reamers and burnishing tools. And together we, we show the complete range of, of uh, uh, homemaking products for today's manufacturing. The innovations. The end of the day tool makes a whole. But what we have seen is before two decades, you came out with these reading in the tool. And last year, you innovated a new product, the 3E technology, where this can be taken out and measured, the tool can be measured. So how innovations are important and how these innovations are making Olapter more uh, useful for your customer? So uh, actually, Wallhaupter has always been a leader uh, in technology of, of uh, rough and finish boring. Uh, so in the in the 80s we started with uh, automatic uh, boring and facing head, the first NC head in the world, which which we actually uh, never sold in, in a serial production. But you're right, uh, we have always been uh, one of the innovators in our industry, and and uh, uh, we have read out system in in fine fine boring tools. Uh, and as you mentioned, in 2002 we actually started with Digibore. Uh, one of the first uh, 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 finished boring tools with an integrated digital display. At that time, the battery was in the in the tool as as well as the, the digital display. But uh, yeah, the tools got smaller and smaller, and we didn't have the chance to integrate the display and the technology in the tool anymore. So uh, that was the reason why we. Uh, started uh, having a, a, a display module which can be hooked on on the tools. Digital display unit or display module is even bigger than the tool itself. Yeah, uh, and uh, otherwise uh, we wouldn't be able to to put the digital display in a tool and and be able to read out the the, the correct adjustment. We have seen that the complete market dynamics have changed. At one point of time, the technology, the innovation. Uh, Germany was easing it up. But today, especially in the machine tool or even for manufacturing, uh, China have taken a, a lot of uh, space in manufacturing. How do you see in this scenario the German engineering, what German engineering can do for the global industry? Uh, I mean, German engineering machine tool business as, as well as cutting tool business is, is, are still the leaders uh, in amongst uh, others in, in the world. And uh, we are technology leaders still, and, and we have uh, great products. And China, you're right, China is focusing on, on high volume products, uh, first of all. And, and uh, China started copying uh, the products, but mainly the products with a high volume in, in sales. Uh, fortunately, Wallhaupter is not one of the high volume uh, manufacturers. Uh, we are focusing on on a, on a niche market or the niche of the niche market. So finish boring in boring in hole making is a very small market. And uh, fortunately, the Chinese have, have never started uh, getting a foot in the door in, in, this, uh, in this niche market. So we are still market leaders and I think we, we will still play a big role uh, all around the world with uh, latest technology and, and especially with automation 
and automation in, in uh, all our uh, uh, manufacturing facilities uh, to become more and more um, yeah, process oriented and optimize the process and, and, and become more and more competitive. I think this is a great message what I am trying to take it from you. Uh, it is not about just manufacturing, it is about understanding the market, it is about understanding the niche and try to create products which no one can produce. Correct. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, our products, as I mentioned before, uh, we can set our our diameters in a, in a, or the diameter in our products within mi one micron on diameter, which is uh, really more accurate than than whatever is needed in the market. Um, so this is uh, has really set a, a benchmark, and uh, yeah, other countries at least for the moment are not able to produce that uh, high level of, of quality product. Quality cannot be compromised and quality comes with a value. But at certain point of time, the manufacturers, maybe if you look at India, they are challenged or they are worried about the initial cost of investment. So going, going from a normal product to an enhanced product, but they get the value and it will, the ROI or the result, it will be seen, not today, it will be seen over the time. So what is the message you would like to give to those people that how how they can consistently produce, how they can bring repeatability to their, uh, you know, production? I mean, my, my main message is total cost of ownership. Uh, the most important is, is not getting an ROI within a couple of months. Uh, you have to look at the total cost of ownership. And uh, I always have to tell the story. A couple of years ago, a customer called and wanted to uh, have a, an operating manual for an old tool. And, and we asked what kind of tool it is. And, and the customer said, uh, I can't read anything anymore on that tool. So it, the tool is old and it's, it's rubbed out. Uh, the laser marking, we said, what's on, what's on the tool? And it said, uh, Wallhaupter made in Stuttgart. And, and you have to know, uh, our company moved from Stuttgart during Second World War. Yeah. So 1945. World War 1945, so that tool, the customer was looking for an operating manual, was produced before 1945. The customer didn't want a, 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 a maintenance or, or repair of the tool, the customer wanted an operating manual. So the tools almost last forever. And, and I, I keep on telling customers, at, at least the customers at the age of 50 or older, uh, when you buy a Wallhaupter tool today, it will last for the rest of your life. This is amazing and uh, I believe we are in July now. Next two months, we will be able to see some great innovations from uh, Olapta and Allied Machine and Engineering Stallet. Imo Hanover, wish you all the very best. That, that's for sure, thank you very much. <laughs>